and I'm a master's student at the University of Idaho, studying the rare northern Idaho ground squirrel. These little squirrels are endemic to a tiny part of west central Idaho. The species suffered population declines in recent decades, disappearing from over 99% of its historic range, and in 2000 they were listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Since listing, management plans have focused on thinning and burning forests to create more meadow habitat for these squirrels to spend their active months foraging. But there's a problem with this plan. When the squirrels aren't busy fattening up, they're spending the vast majority of their lives hibernating. And compared to their active season habitat, we know relatively little about what habitat they need to hibernate. It's really interesting. Some of these squirrels will, in addition to spending their active months in these meadows, they'll also hibernate there. But other squirrels that maybe live in that exact same area will travel sometimes hundreds of meters to the nearest forest to hibernate in extremely different looking habitat. And so my research focuses on this variation in behavior. To answer our research question, we attach radio collars to squirrels so we can track them to hibernation nests. Once we locate an underground nest, we take measurements of natural structures close to the nest site, things that may influence the thermal environment of the nest chamber or the relative safety of the animal hibernating inside. We're hoping with these data, once we have an adequate sample size, um, we'll be able to better characterize the full breadth of habitat that these squirrels use, not just where they're spending their spring and summer months, but also what kind of habitat they need during the, the fall, winter, and the spring which is especially important because our restoration treatments right now focus on thinning and burning forests. So especially if they need forests to hibernate, it will be really important for us to know. Studying these squirrels can be hard work. Our field crews brave the rain, sleet, and snow to collect data, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Uh, they still surprise me year after year. They're really resilient, really flexible in how they adapt to different conditions to every year. And so that's been really fun to observe. Ultimately, every squirrel collared brings us one step closer to better understanding the species so that we can form a more comprehensive management plan that will protect the full breadth of habitat these animals need, thereby ensuring that the northern Idaho ground squirrel remains on the landscape for many years to come.